नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल एसी एस्ट्रो एंड टूडेज वीडियो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज केतु इज गोइंग टू ट्रांसिट इन उत्तर फाल्गुनी नक्षत्र ऑन टेंथ ऑफ नवंबर वाइडली दे विल इम्पैक्ट बोथ टुगेदर ऑल द ट्वेल्व लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैनेडा नमस्कार राम राम अकाश नमस्कार रोहित जी राम राम और केतु देवता द लॉर्ड ऑफ डिटैचमेंट the lord of sacrifice is going to the nakshatra of uttar falguni which is also about human service and sacrifice so the nakshatra where it is transiting and uh, the nature of ketu is almost the same but this nakshatra is ruled by one of a uh, aditya that is a very important thing out of the 12 adityas one of the adityas rules it here we go aryaman is the aditya who rules the uh, you know this nakshatra uh, is gods of customs wealth and mind morning sun mid morning sun his name is means life partner close friend or play fellow here are some of the characteristics of this god especially it is associated with human journey um, those who have you know those who have come to this human journey and those who have uh, fathers who have attained immortality in heaven you know this is how this lord guides us the descendants of such fathers to make sure that we also come in the right path it is a master of sacrificial action the lord of this nakshatra uh, aryaman is the master of sacrificial action and offers a sevenfold working to the godheads of the divine birth that means very important it is all about birth he is he is the son of ma aditi in rigveda aryaman is described as a protector of mares stallions and the milky way that means all the horses and all the mares stallions in the world are ruled by aryaman and when we connected to ashwini devta also they are also horses and they are the son of surya so this is also another connection here now aryaman is member of the aditya as a group of social deities who are sons of aditi so that means it is he is a brother to surya dev aryaman is commonly invoked with other deities such as mitra varuna bhaga or brahaspati whatever it is uh, aryaman and brahaspati have a very great uh, you know things common in itself and here people who are born in this nakshatra are uh, very lucky because they find many lucky opportunities and they are like they suddenly with their little bit of sacrifice they will get big uh, you know opportunities in life so uttra falguni nakshatra is a very very awesome nakshatra it's not like a very small nakshatra now we have to understand that the motive of uttra falguni nakshatra is more about hospitality more about you know how you can be a friend but the nature of ketu here is about detachment now when ketu transits to uttra falguni nakshatra for aries ascendant people it is right now placed in the 6000 virgo and here it is attaining degrees in the retrograde motion where it enters into uttra falguni and what is the sixth house is the house of service selfless service is what sixth house is called you will feel very le- less attached to competitions you know daily struggles you will say i don't even uh, need this in fact the nature the the motive the in hindi we say bhavna the bhavna will be how to help others without seeking any recognition without complete sacrificial uh, you know what you say complete sacrificial uh, tendency about not getting anything but doing a lot of good things this will also encourage to view challenges with a very spiritual lens finding peace in routine responsibilities and even in addressing health or work related obstacles this is a very important time that you know always we have been desiring that okay we need this we need that now we will desire that okay someone needs this i want to be an instrument here to help that kind of personality so ketu transit is not a very big impact if you are not going through ketu antardasha and mahadasha but still it is going to impact on the area related to your more hospitality you will be more giving during this time there will be a possibility of you you will see from 10th of november onwards till you know next year when ketu actually transits to leo in this time it will be a more of surrender more of service more of humanitarian work health related stuff also will need lot of things like somewhere where you are not caring about yourself about your health here you will start caring about your health as well so it's a very beautiful transit whenever ketu will transit it is about some pain which will transform you into a more better human being so always remember this but otherwise a beautiful time do surya uh, you know vandana do 
uh, give in the copper vessel, put some kind of little bit of water and put it near to Surya Dev. Uh, everything like all the Adityas are connected to the energy of Lord Surya only. So doing Aditya Ridha Sutram is also very, very awesome. All the best. For Taurus Ascendant people, here this is the fifth house where Ketu is right now sitting. And now what has happened is here, if you must have seen over this past year when Ketu has come here, there could have been a little bit of detachment with you, especially with your loved ones. Especially there could be possibility that someone you are closely associated with, suddenly there is a shift of focus from them, them and now you are more... Uh, you know, attuned towards dharma, towards righteousness, towards doing some kind of chanting, towards doing some kind of, uh, this is the house of mantra chanting also, fifth house. It is the house of getting a lot of blessings from the God also. It is ninth from the nine. That means it is real house of destiny. I always say everyone and my students also, nothing else matters in your chart except the fifth house. Fifth house Lord and fifth house has to be in good position. If not, then we have to do a lot of remedies related to that. Now here Ketu is transiting into Uttra Falguni Nakshatra. The Nakshatra that is ruled by one of the Adityas, Aryaman. Here we have to understand that this, the Aryaman, the nature of Aryaman is to sacrifice. The nature of Ketu is also to sacrifice. So what happens is when there is two good things that both people are, uh, the both energies are, you know, uh, agreed upon, that means the energy will be more towards this area. Now, your shift may focus from your focus may shift from personal achievements in creativity, romance, education. Now, it will encourage you to be a little bit of more philosophical, even detached approach like, you know, creative. You know, you were saying that, OK, I want to do this, that you will be completely saying that. No, man, I, I just want to survive right now. And, you know, the relationship with children uh, may also have a little bit of detached approach. Now, you may say that, OK, no, you know what? Right now, I just feel like completely leave me alone i want to be you know learning this time education this time trying to learn the realities of life there's also possibility there will be pulled towards gaining wisdom or creating for the sake of fulfillment rather than outward praise so it is more that okay you did this and people used to say oh wow you did such good thing what creative you are now you will not care about it you will say that i don't care right now i just want to make sure that you know this happens i don't care about the creativity neither my praise this is a time very important for education especially those who are inclined towards spiritual education absolutely you should be really focused on spiritual education during this time um uh, those who want to take any diksha those who are thinking of starting their mantra chanting process those who are starting i just uh, heard today uh, Swami Premanand Ji Maharaj, who's in Vrindavan, he said that Om Namah Shivaya, the mantra, cannot be done unless and until it is given as a diksha by your guru. Otherwise, you cannot do it. I don't agree with it. Anyone can do any mantra. But I would suggest that this is the time that any diksha, any mentor, it's not only in spiritual way, it's also in your creative way, in your, it's, it's a more period of sacrifice, more period of letting your ego letting your desires go away and inviting lot of positive lot of positive knowledge fifth house is house of speculative gains very careful for people who have invested a heavy amount of money in speculation because yeah, both the planets are about giving things not taking things so it is like okay you know it's about giving it's about sacrificing it's not about gaining so we have to be careful if there is a very big investment somewhere that is speculative some share market some crypto some stock market we have to understand that how we want to take this kind of money out those who are into medical or medicine a beautiful time for them because some amazing thing is coming which will be making you a very much better healer so all the best guys who are um, watching this video and do subscribe for gemini ascendant people here uh oh i forgot i by chance pasted here for gemini ascendant people this is happening in the fourth house that is the house related to your specifically your home area anything to do with your house anything to do with your mother anything to do with your property and you know stuff like that when we talk about uh, Ketu transiting into Uttra Falguni Nakshatra here, don't go in the writing because that is not right. I am just because I I think I by mistake copy pasted the Cancer one here. What is happening is that Ketu is a planet that actually in this fourth house you must have been feeling that there is a lot of things related to house that you are detached. Uh, many people are isolated as well. Many people of Gemini ascendant must have started from working from home or they must be taking care too much of their mother and you know. Um, their, in fact, their travels 
during this time from last october must have not been so fruitful always some kind of you know extra expenses and stuff like now this is the time that absolutely 4000 house of inner peace and happiness here you may feel that okay inner peace and happiness does not come from the recognition of other people that it does not come if other person is saying oh wow you are great it comes from your own from yourself from your own understanding so a very big breakthrough in uh, what you say in your mindset is coming where your mindset is completely like i don't care about other people i care about myself i care about my own uh, efforts this is not a very good time to invest into property because both the deities aryaman who's the adityas as well as ketu are the planet of sacrifice so this is a time if you are selling any property a very beautiful and especially if you are going to ketu mahadasha then absolutely very important if you are selling any property okay you will gain from it but if you are thinking of buying any property getting into luxury and all no this is not the right time because uh, it is more of an introspection energy introspective energy you are completely this is the time that you will many people of uh, gemini ascendant if you are going to go to ketu mahadasha will also start uh, you know taking religion or religious activities very seriously they will think that okay we need to be in this religious form we need to be in this kind of uh, thing i need to sacrifice i need to start fasting such kind of new things are going to come to you as far as wealth is concerned ketu has no role in wealth whereas all the three nakshatras of ketu magha mula and ashwini have to do with wealth but ketu in this nakshatra does not have to be wealth it has to do with more of uh, spiritual gains that you get during this time not monetary gains so it is more on the karmic level that you are going to get affected so take care of your mother all the best otherwise a beautiful time for spiritual transformation and your house will now become a temple by the way you know it's not going to be a house anymore it's going to be more of a temple a place where you will have lot of sacred energy flowing so all the best cancer ascendant people now here we say ketu is in the third house in virgo you must be feeling lot of detached from your friends there could have been possibility that some distance from siblings you know in fact your daily communication where you were too vocal about things or maybe you must have done some startup which you must have given up in the middle you know in the middle after october of 2025 so things like that are happening also very problem with cancer ascendant people is that uh, they start something with lot of positivity and lot of force but then suddenly they say oh, we don't want to continue so this is the kind of emotional up and down that cancer ascendant people really gain now it's going to be a very strong focus on introspection rather than social social interaction so now this is the time to be completely with yourself leading to a quieter more contemplative period this transit encourages sharing knowledge or engaging in hobbies for spiritual growth rather than social acceptance so now i think lot of diwali and parties have happened those were absolutely going through ketu mahadasha this time you will feel that you know you really don't want to be bothered this is the time of more of your courage inward courage that means showing inward courage trying to transform yourself some kind of hobby some kind of possibility some kind of communication that you require from the universe you require from the forces around you you require from the nature from your planets from your deities is going to come to you remember both these planets are of sacrifice um, sorry both this uh, the deity and ketu the planet is of sacrifice this is a time of completely surrendering once you surrender very good now third house is also the house related to hospitality communication those who are into hospitality field 11th house is also hospitality by the way third house is also hospitality here those who are in hospitality business those who are in business related to human resources communication because lot of people who have um, uh, cancer ascendant are the people are who are in administrative roles a lot of administration is in their hand a lot of courage they show in their workplace a lot of hard work they do because of the 10th house lord being mars here mercury is the third house lord so generally your uh, focus and everything is towards communication now here you may feel that there is possibility that you have stopped communicating there is possibility you are now only talking to yourself very good time for enlightenment very good time for understanding that you know the communication inward rather than outward i was listening to roy ji uh, osho one of the very great saints he said that everyone who's wondering that you know god is in this roop that roop god is here god is in kaaba god is in some temple god, god is in some this place that place uh, have you ever gone inside your own self and try to find who is inside you first find yourself then find god that is one simple thing he said 
he said one good story about the fishes also he said the fishes had one mahapurush who came to the fishes and they had a gathering and the fish, they said fishes there is a very big ocean somewhere very big ocean and it's beautiful there are so many creatures there there is so much beautiful there there's so much good food there like just describing how heaven is and all the fishes are like wow we will find that ocean some day but they don't know or they have not been taught that they are living in that ocean already they are trying to find it outside that is what the problem with us also that we are living in heaven right now but we are trying to do something that so we go to heaven that is not how it works but overall uh, this is a time of lot of transformation especially in your communication outside and inside both so make this beautiful time ketu the nakshatra of ketu are all related to money monetary benefits but here this is the time that ketu is entering into a solar deity who is exactly same like ketu very surrender very surrender nature very things related to do with hospitality trying to care for yourself this is the time to care for your own self so all the best cancer ascendant people leo ascendant people now ketu devta is transiting exactly in the sixth house for you from october of 2023 you must have seen that you know there could have been lot of detached attitude towards family family members now i have done a very good research about this as well when ketu entered into this how this how place for leo ascendant people your uh, communication or speaking must have stopped that means lot of people are consuming uh other people speaking like those are people are hearing other people speaking that means social media consumption must have gone crazy crazy up of those who have ketu here after october you will see that okay you're going sleepless nights because of social media just going through some stupid reels and stuff like that and it is applying to me also now when ketu in the second house uh and especially in virgo uh in uh, brings lot of detached attitude towards family wealth and material security now the emphasis is shifting from accumulating resources like lot of accumulation oh, i want this money that money that money from this to actually you know accumulating resources and valuing inner wealth inner self worth this is the house that is related to self respect now leo ascendant people more than wealth will now start focusing that you know i want to surrender i want to work hard towards my self respect so that my name and fame becomes more higher this is what you're currently uh, and especially for a good reason many people will start transforming in a way of their attitude second house is attitude as well attitude means spoken attitude sometimes we don't have uh, bad things in our heart but speaking is very rubbish because you know we speak something very rubbish but we are very good person from the inside that's what leo ascendant people are going through during this time speech and communication will become more reflective focusing on truth and integrity aligned with the uttra falguni's values of loyalty and honesty so this time all the people who are leo ascendant people and i know it's lying is a part of our life you know if you are hungry for a good reason also if you see that someone is sick your mother is sick in front of you are you hungry to like cook you something you will say no i am not hungry you know you will sacrifice that time that okay no i am not hungry because my mother is not doing well so how can i tell her to cook for me and stuff like that same way in many places where your ego where your self respect was getting hurt you would have been sacrificed a lot that saying that okay no 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 i am okay no doesn't worry but this is a time ketu being an aggressive planet uttra falguni being one of the adityas it's an aggressive uh, both are aggressive energies you will stand for the truth whether it is for yourself or whether for, for other person in your family in your life in your uh, colleagues in your acquaintances anyone you will going to be standing for their self respect this is the time that more than monetary wise you will understand your self worth that okay you know money is secondary thing but i my self worth is much bigger than money that is what you'll be focusing on uh, but unfortunately this is a place of ketu trying to be more detached from the family especially i feel that you know if if you see this house this is 8th from the 7th remember huh? this is 8th from the 7th that means that's why this is called a marak also now here what happens is when this is 8th from the 7th there is going to be a lot of hidden things between you and the family that you have created the family that means the relationship that you are into that after your marriage so you know here a detachment from that side also can come because you will try to be seeking your inner strength or you know your self respect that okay this person in front of me whether a male or a female does not give me that respect that i deserve and that is where the whole internal war will be with you yourself it will be quite internal quite secretive but on the other hand 
your expressions your voice will not be able to stop it so that's why you know uh, loyalty and honesty is important but also balance sometimes too much honesty is you know self uh, you know how do we how do we say we self killing self suicidal so during this time speech and communication has to be taken in most consideration i know you will speak the truth but that can be uh, you know understand that if your ketu is here and transforming in some of the way your other partners or your any other family members or your children's ketu will also be in some place transforming their that part of life also so a very balanced approach is required monetary wise investments in very big term anything to do with um security anything to do with fixed assets should be avoided during this time if you're going to specially to ketu mahadasha there is also possibility that many people during this time will be selling off their uh, uh, property or selling off lot of their uh, you know shares and you know speculative gains that they have achieved through past times so very careful about such decisions but otherwise a very good time for transformation as we know all the best now virgo ascendant people ketu is in the ascendant in the lagna now what does this mean this means that when ketu is in the first house you automatically virgo ascendant people are coming up and showing that there is a sense of detachment from their own public identity and this was a little bit of forced that you must be doing okay i don't want to go here now the situation that will come now because ketu is entering into uttra falguni nakshatra is i don't care it is a nakshatra of hospitality it does not mean you will start disrespecting other people but you will not want respect from other people you will say i don't even care about what respect you may feel very less driven by the need for recognition or status you say i don't care about status recognition you know as long as i am humble as long as there is an introspective nature as long as i am caring for myself my physical outlook my attitude this is what is required during this time a lot of sacrifice that you have done in the past you know because it is a period that will align you to lot of selfless service and a dedication to higher values in in line of aryamans the lord of this nakshatra's theme of support and generosity so that means lot of things that you will not say that okay i don't care about helping you it's like i don't care about myself right now so this means that extra hard work extra pain extra sacrifice is also coming for all the virgo ascendant people so you have and especially if you're going through ketu mahadasha and antardasha it's going to be triple x the three times it's going to be um the power here that is going to be working so in simple way you are not looking for recognition you will be the one who will making sure that other people who really want recognition i will be a part of their journey and help them sacrifice not to gain anything but just to sacrifice myself and help other people this means that you will not be running after money or running after love or running after any education nothing but if anyone is doing that you will be making sure that you become a part of their life and try to embrace their dream their and you know make sure that it's a simple way to be humble to be more give more support and be more generous in simple way this is what you are supposed to be doing during this time all the best guys i hope that this time brings a little bit of uh, positive impact in your life in terms of spiritual bliss also may many people because ketu is in the first house is going to enlighten also because <sighs> ketu is the planet that can open any doors from any realm of the world so just just try it just try to go towards just try to sit in meditation again one story lord brahma when he came out of the vishnu's tummy huh yeah? he came out of the belly button of lord vishnu for the first 10000 years and god's 10000 years are some yugs of us huh? it's like their one day is like uh, one earth year i don't know how they calculate but it is a very big big year so for 10000 years brahma did not know the reason of its existence that why am i here it was not getting any reason and what it was there was nothing to do he was in a cave sitting alone there was nothing no one no being around there was only one sound that was constant for 10000 years that was a water drop falling from the ceiling to the surface down below and it was making a sound called tap 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 now because brahma vishnu and mahesh they all were born with lot of wisdom he got the answer that this tap means tap tap had turns or converts into meditation he said it's my only role right now is meditation because i will find answers from within why am i here what am i supposed to do 
and that's why brahma started meditation and he said okay i am here to create the universe i am i have the power to create this but when it happened when it started to realize its own potential that okay here i am this is what my purpose is same way you have to realize your own potential it, it's not outside many people you know go to astrologers and uh, and say that okay what do i do what do i not do you have inherited power there is one very good method made by uh, i think edgar casey he's very very one of the very big um, uh, uh, very big what you say psychic he said write down five best things now one two three four five as a column and say that okay this is the number one best thing that i can do and no one else in this world can beat me in this and everyone has that single quality like how we have a fingerprint which is different from everyone we have one quality in our life that is completely different from everyone you do that take that and you know write that five things about you that you know no one can beat you in or you are excellent in that and see that can be your life path that should be your area of focus and then you will succeed so it is only asking about asking yourself you cannot ask 10 people that what should i do what should i do what should i not do so try to go more inside more introspective okay sorry for the gyan all the best take care virgo ascendant people and see you after this transit in some different transit for libra ascendant people when ketu transits in the 12th house you know this is the time it transits into uttara falguni nakshatra the nakshatra of lord aryaman you know what is the 12th house 12th house is the house of subconscious mind of lot of expenses you know anything that has to do with spiritual bliss anything that has to do with health anything that has to do with enemy secret enemies anything has to do with isolations like jail like hospitals like sitting on coma waiting for death for so many years everything is related to 12th house here through uttara falguni nakshatra it encourages spiritual retreat and focus on inner growth that means this is a time of absolute uh, how do i say moksha because this is the house of moksha this is the time that you know and moksha does not mean dying moksha means just realizing that okay you know this is your last lifetime and this is where such kind of things can you know happen ketu is a planet that is absolutely related to meditation spiritual things anything to do with intuition anything to do with occult and stuff like that here this transit can increase your interest in meditation healing or serving others from behind the scenes in a very hidden way 12th house is a very hidden hidden way a hidden uh, thing you cannot really see that what this person who has ketu in the 12th house is actually doing he's going to be very silent person and here absolutely this is a time to serve others like in hospitals like for charitable works like humanitarian works some kind of ngos some kind of this red cross what not of the worlds you know here this is the place where libra ascendant silently very silently will be going or maybe they must be there right now those who are going to ketu mahadasha like one of my friend from toronto he is going through ketu mahadasha as soon as ketu mahadasha started uh you know he got some legal problems this that what not but everything is slowly slowly solving now now this is the time that he will be there will be a lot of pull for him and all for the libra ascendant people and especially for ketu mahadasha people there will be a pull towards isolation and contemplation allowing for selfless acts include in a secluded healing environment because that is the nature of the lord aryaman as well as the nature of lord ketu both the planets are very secret they will do something but very secretly now this is also the time of luck remember one of the quality of aryaman i have spoken in the beginning of the video is also luck suddenly some luck comes here suddenly some luck will come those people who say i cannot meditate i cannot do this i cannot concentrate here there is possibility of sudden luck now this also means a very good time for people who are thinking about foreign travel what did i say you will go in secluded environment in selfless you know so you go to foreign country you get in uh, when you go you are very lonely what is the first resort that a person goes to foreign country and happens he gets into spirituality he suddenly remembers god he suddenly thinks oh my god i am so alone what do i do i need to find people and that's why every place in this world has religious places where they go and network religious places the 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 irony of religious place is the pandit who is sitting in that religious place is also waiting for you to come so that he can get some dakshina god is not giving anything god is just a method god is just a instrument here but you are coming to give him dakshina same way 
such people he, at this moment will also be going to foreign countries trying to get into a lot of association with spiritual people spiritual leaders teachers and stuff like that is also possible but if you see monetary wise not a very good transit expenses wise not a good transit but if you see oh, spiritual wise subconscious mind training subconscious mind which is more important that is the real area that because everyone remember one thing and keep repeating in your mind that death is only permanent nothing else nothing death is permanent it will happen and it will happen for sure so the plans we have that next 10 years or 15 years we're going to do this what if 3 days later we are dying so live today try to make sure that you are absolutely there today you are talking to yourself you're trying to understand the purpose of the person that is sitting inside you today that's what is more important i know this is too much gyan but this is what astrology is all about everything every planet every action of every planet takes you towards spirituality and nothing else all the best guys do a lot of healing those who are in medical field those who are in medical professions those who are in um, you know healing occult a great time for them to explore beautiful things in their life beautiful all the best scorpio ascendant people when ketu in the 11th house of gains you know you have been seeing that you know from lot of detachment from social circles must be happening lot of isolation must be happening you must be thinking that you know some kind of bad luck is on you and sometimes some kind of problem is on you no one is trying to get in touch with you there is also detachment from children family you are always traveling such kind of things can keep happening after ketu transiting here and rahu coming to your fifth house now what happens you know your desire for wealth your desire for wealth is there but you know suddenly you may lose your interest in desire if you are going through ketu mahadasha then this is specifically going to happen to you your desire for wealth is going to go away you say i don't want the desire for wealth i want you know moving towards lot of humanitarian lot of spiritual goals aiming to contribute with society without seeking financial gain or public attention you want to be a secret donation your donor during this time that okay you know what i am just too done with this all this rather than buying a rolex i will just uh, give my money to this charitable organization right now that kind of feeling is going to start happening in your life and especially for scorpio sign and people who are one of the most wonderful people in the world in terms of their hidden nature also like on the surface they may be very strong and but on, on inside they may be very very soft they may be very very you know generous that kind of nature scorpio sign and people have here you will see that this time friendships or you know your social circle may feel more meaningful but let attach you may you will not want to spend time with them it will say that okay you are there and i really acknowledge that that kind of feeling is there but uh, on the other hand you will be saying that okay i don't want to be attached to this guy but i i don't i don't mind helping this person that is how it is going to be ketu and lord aryaman who's the nakshatra lord of uttara falguni has the same principle of sacrifice this is okay i don't want anything i just want to do it for you sacrifice this is the time a lot of sacrifice can happen ketu being a planet and your chart being a planet related to earthly energy what is mars mars is the earth what is this what is the this this is the burnt place on the earth this what is scorpio scorpio is the place that is already burnt it is in hindi in lal kitab also it is said the jali rashi that means the burnt sign of uh, mars here what is it saying it is saying that to take care of nature as well so those people who are in any nature business anything those who are doing business related to or work or there any thing related to environment nature soil land water very good time for them a special special blessing is coming for them because of their hard work and the sacrifice in the past to really help the environment so beautiful time for all the people awesome time happy happy time make sure you are more more you know you will be helping obviously outside people but also helping your inner soul to make go to a next level of higher consciousness all the best for sagittarius ketu devta is in the 10th house and see i i spoke to a lot of sagittarius ascendant people and you know some people who are not going through ketu madasha good for them but some people who are going through ketu madasha have seen a completely decline in their uh, wanting to work in their wanting to you know uh, get involved in anything to do with uh, 
what you say their workplace their occupation they are completely detached and you know this uh, detachment from conventional career ambitions instead of pursuing fame or status you may be drawn to roles that will allow to serve other people in a very humble or behind the scenes way you will be hand holding during this time without other people letting know that you know you are completely here to sacrifice yourself and make sure the other person grows in front of you now it is going to bring a very unique blend of humility and honor as well as fulfill your social responsibility with the spirit of service and that is what ketu is all about ketu just is seeking ketu was seeking you know uttra falguni nakshatra to enter into this nakshatra because it aligns with the with the what you say with the lord aryaman who is also the lord that is supposed to do with hospitality it's, it does not say it says okay i don't care about myself right now who is in front of me so fear those people who are business owners we say okay business is not making much profit right but my employees should not make much loss let them whatever it is coming let's break even and let's give them everything even you yourself will say okay i am not going to get promoted but this person looks absolutely in that role to get promoted i will support him in all the way so that he gets this kind of promotion so that means you will sacrifice your uh, you know what you say your status during this time and say that okay let other people's status go up this is also happening and this is going to add to your spiritual uh, gains so monetary gains is not happening but spiritual gains is happening you will be becoming a better person someone who will sacrifice and move forward sacrifice for others and move forward god will he will get noticed by god absolutely remember this someone who's taking pain for other people and who's that other people that other people is also creation of god only someone who's taking pain for their co creation they will get noticed someone who's working very hard elon musk working very hard sleeping 5 6 hours a day he is noticed why because he became successful by doing that same way this is the time that your social responsibility with a spirit of service will come noticed and you will not want that you will say that oh, i did not want that to notice but it will come to notice so other way or whatever way recognition is still coming but not required recognition it's like okay it is just there people know that this person is behind this person but you will try to be as secretive as possible this is the energy that is happening when ketu transits into uttara falguni nakshatra so all the best and make sure that you are completely aligned with the spiritual energy now for capricorn ascendant people this is happening in the ninth house in virgo and ninth house is the house that is absolutely related to spiritual wisdom rigid beliefs fanatism anything to do with dharma this is the dharma kona and one of the most auspicious house in a birth chart and ketu being one of a very auspicious night it's a malefic you know i know the nature is malefic and the nature is malefic because we are living in a material world it's very easy to say right okay give up things be mat be spiritual this that but how will we eat food how will we have iphone how will we have apple watch stuff like that why because we are you know the mind is attuned in that way if you were born in a adivasi family in africa you would have not even cared about all this you would have said that okay how are we eating tonight what is the hunt today that is what your priority would be so everything in life is about priority about what you want to achieve and where you want to go how luxurious you want to stay now here ketu in the 9th house in virgo uh, and especially in uttara falguni nakshatra you know over the past time it must have encouraged you know on a focus of spiritual wisdom and rigid beliefs from october of 2023 now this transit promotes a detached view of religious or philosophical teachings encouraging you that okay i don't care about spirituality i don't care about uh, you know philosophy i want to be i want to serve a guide or a teacher without being attached to any doctrine i don't want any recognition for it i have learned lot of spirituality lot of things to do with this this now i want to be attached to other thing being completely non recognized i am behind your success i am giving you the gyan i am giving you the teaching but i am not expecting anything in return it this is a time there will be a greater openness to explore new ideas and share them for the benefit of others rather than you you say that, okay i maybe this idea will make someone very very extremely rich but does not matter this idea has to go out of my and you will be so awesome in your uh, in your spiritual approach during this time that i can't even explain i'm very i envy capricorn ascendant people because ketu is in the ninth house they must have taken you know to for a long distance journey or higher education but this higher education of life that this is showing a uh, higher education of life uh, that will come through surrender 
is going to happen during this time so lot of beautiful things happening make the most of it all the best guys this is a time that don't respect your spiritual teachers take messages from the world i know you know this will have a very detached view of religious or philosophical teachings that you had you will say that no no it does not matter this is what i think and i would impose on others which is what is required to make sure that you know everything in the positive way should be done not in a very rigid not in a very uh, fanatic way should be done because this is how and ketu here can take you towards fanatism there are a lot of fanatic activities happening already around the world where people are fighting for religion fighting for faith fighting for this what every religion in this world has number one um what you say the number one statement is love for others that is the basic principle of every religion everything now we don't want to be fanatic over no we say our book says this who the hell is the book you are going to die everyone in this world is going to die and take a rebirth or go away from this so you you're not creating any good thing don't create bad things in this world that's what is required for all the people and also this kind of education should go from you also to all the people the parents who kids are a little bit you know in such kind of area or you know kids where parents are into such kind of area where they are rigidly putting their belief system on other people that is where you should be very vocal about and this is what this time is going to make you all the best guys have a great transit aquarius ascendant people now with ketu transiting in the 8th house and obviously from october of 2023 you must have seen a lot of transformation and that is especially from fear from lot of things related to occult many things must have been thinking many people i saw i have an aquarius ascendant friend of mine who so uh, anyone did black magic on me or what anyone did this these kind of things you know are going in their mind they said ketu in the 8th house i feel i fear now i see some uh, dead people i see spirits i see this that so some kind of you know transformation and secrets are coming up many people i also have one aquarius ascendant uh, friend of uh, not friend but client of mine who is now our kind of a friend she told me that she found out their husband was cheating on her so see everything came on the surface as well that means everything will come on surface when ketu comes to the 8th house because it is a it is thing that removes what wherever ketu will sit remember it will take dig out things from your past and bring it in front of you <laughs> one of my client also equity assessment and got a legal notice from the uh, from the government about tax because it had done 12 years ago but it got now so such thing happen when ketu comes here now this transit can encourage uh, you may find yourself drawn to very mystical subjects or deeper psychological understanding with the willingness to let go of material attachments or fears you will say that okay you know what if money does not come at least i will survive right this is what the need, your idea will become that's not matter but now i want to learn more about occult more about spirituality more get into deeper psychological understanding that okay what this is how this is going to be your fear of you know always losing always you know proving yourself will go away you say i don't want to prove anyone to anything to anyone this is the kind of energy that is and if you're going through ketu mahadasha this is going to be double triple the energy that uh, you will feel that you know i don't care about what other people think i will make sure that i follow this path it can also encourage work in healing or research those who are in medical research anything to do with engineering anything there a lot of research is done you will focus on lot of uncovering hidden truths without personal gain you will say that okay i don't want to gain personally but i want to get to the bottom of this so that other people or majority or a vast area of people will get some kind of blessing through this that means if someone is doing any uh, is some big company like pfizer example is doing some big research and they they can make out of this research millions and billions of dollars they will not do that just giving an example they will say okay let it release let's release this research because we have found some breakthrough in this so that other people can gain through this rather than us gaining because it is humanitarian humanity also it's not about money money so that is the kind of energy that is aligning during this time for all the people who have aquarius ascendant there is also possibility of some kind of accident or some kind of sudden jerk that you get you know suddenly some kind of which will open your eyes for a very very big thing and this accident does not mean on road i am talking about accident in your life that suddenly you get to near that experience suddenly you see someone passing away in front of you that is your loved ones and you say that okay man life is just like very unfair i'll tell you one small example of general equities <laughs> so i have a friend here in calgary who had a very good facebook page 
his facebook page has 40000 followers he did so much hard work 7 years on it and you know he brought all the community together suddenly facebook deleted his page in one single minute his 7 years of uh, hard work went zero and it was a very good group where people used to connect the immigrants used to come they used to talk to people and all what happened suddenly everything gone the past work that you have done is gone and the truth came in front of him saying that you know man every nothing is permanent man yesterday there were so many people now there is no one this is exactly how life is and it is just this button can if this button goes off everything is off so make sure when you are in this current form do so much good deeds that you know even after you're gone like ratan tata he went away every day or every time in our life we will remember that person because of the noble deeds that they have done that is what ketu is telling you do something which will uncover hidden truths and you know without your personal gains but it will be better for the whole human race human world a very small thing also try to do it nothing is small and nothing is big everything that is meant to benefit the creation or the the purpose of the creator is good for you all the best Pisces ascendant here Ketu is present in the 7th house for Virgo and you must have seen a lot of detached view in partnership now this transit emphasizes a lot of spiritual connection over conventional relationship goals he said that okay you know what we wanted to do this this this, this much money money this what not no now it will be saying you know what no let's you know serve during this time the word is serve the word is not gain it's serve you completely come in your family also in your personal life also you will see that the qualities of our lord aryaman that is related to sacrifice hospitality you will see that you will be more you know you will be more sacrificing you will be saying that okay no don't worry it's okay if i am suffering no problem but i don't want you to suffer that kind of nature you will develop this transit also emphasizes a spiritual connection over conventional relationship goals encouraging you to serve within partnership without expecting mutual benefit even if you say that the other person who is my partner is benefiting anything it's okay let them benefit but not i will not benefit from this and all the relationships especially every this is not only husband and wife this is all the relationships in your life may involve karmic or spiritual lessons fostering inner growth and material uh, inner growth over material attachment you know you will try to this is the time that you may try to nurture your other half that is your business partner that is your uh, wife that is your acquaintance anyhow there is going to be more nurturing uh, without expecting anything for an example just imagine that you are the person who used to come home keep your bag and wait for the food to come on your table this is the time you will come home keep the bag and make sure that you have a packet in your hand saying that okay you know what i got food from outside you know today it's my turn i will put it in plate for you so such kind of role reversal can happen during this time and you know such small small things in life will make you a better human or make things come to permanent level now anyone do you think anyone wants that cancer should come to them but cancer comes and then it is almost permanent for them you know it is coming coming so this period also or any kind of bad energy comes it remains permanent this time a good energy is coming so make sure that it remains permanent this kind of uh, you know this kind of sacrifice this kind of nature that ketu devta brings for everyone about surrendering yourself surrendering yourself in front of everyone you surrender and see what happens it's not like try to change yourself try to suddenly be a very different person and see that how your life will take you to a different level altogether sorry guys i know for the gyan but all the best guys have a great wonderful time and uh, this is the time that your material achievements are more than your uh, are will be less than your spiritual achievements so money wise uh, not a very good time spiritually karmically very very good time all the best guys thank you so much rohit ji to you too thank you very much uh, we can say that very important transit because you know a ketu a planet of uh, you can say a uh, higher devotion higher spirituality coming in the nakshatra of sun a saul itself a pure saul so this is very important time to transform in one way or another in relationship or whatever house 
that belongs in your chart so keep working on that thank you very very also ruji also ruji one simple thing uh, ketu is the karaka of moksha moksha and sun is the karaka of soul so ke- without without sun there can be no one born without ketu there can be no one gone <laughs> <laughs> this is what it is sun and ketu go hand in hand that's why you no know, sun and ketu are not enemies at all rahu and ketu are uh, rahu and sun are enemies sun and ketu are friends sun and ketu have a deeper understanding that this is my soul it has to pass through ketu otherwise it will not go towards uh, towards the create creator himself like towards moksha so very important sun and ketu they entering into this uh, uh, next year also when ketu is entering into the house of sun it is going to be a very big transformation for people because their soul wherever that house is wherever leo is for them they are going to completely get refined there because it will ketu and nothing comes without hardship hardship is going to increase for those people who are getting ketu in the house of leo but this is just you know scraping off all the dirt from your soul and making sure that you know you are towards the positive area of uh, moksha i think moksha. very well very well said in uh, last of this video uh, end of the video and this is i think thumbnail also that this ketu transit in the sun's nakshatra is a trailer of a full movie which is going to start mid of the 2025 when ketu itself enter into the sign of sun yes, so this is a trailer a bigger trailer of 6 7 months so enjoy and get ready for that bigger movie thank you akash ji thank you very much and thanks to all the family members and the number on the screen either for astrology classes or for the consultation consultations most welcome we'll meet you in some next video till then jai shri ram jai hanuman jai mata ji